in part two, we're going to be assembling the ornament. And as an added bonus, I'm going to be showing you how I cut a custom map. I always suggest and recommend masking painted wood, especially white in this instance. I use a squeegee. And when I paint it, I use a white acrylic paint and this little sponge brush, and I just go in one direction. Then I'm going to adhere the masking and squeegee it. Make sure everything's on there good. And I'm going to cut the excess with an X-Acto knife. If I missed a spot, I'm just going to layer it over, cut it off. The reason why I actually recommend masking painted white wood is because if you have no upgraded air assist, the char can be very noticeable upon engraving. We really don't want that. I'm gonna be loading up my material, making sure that it is held down with these magnets. I'm going to be framing it. Awesome, it's in a good location. Then I'm going to click start. Now as you can see here, this is why I like to always make sure that the map goes out of the border. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing but with the second layer. Now it's time to assemble the ornament. I suggest using these plastic scraper tools. They're awesome for getting off all these little pieces. And then once we have that off, I'm just gonna be going over the edges with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And for this particular ornament, I am gonna be staining it, and I do suggest using a full face respirator with the correct cartridges or a half mask respirator with non-vented goggles. And as always, we wanna make sure that we're using nitrile gloves. And after it's dried, we can start gluing the layers together. Now I'm gonna be adding some twine for the top of the ornament. And as an added bonus, a cute little burlap bow. Now for the burlap bow, you can use super glue, you can use hot glue, whatever you choose. I'm gonna be using super glue in this case. Now as an added bonus, I'm going to be showing you how I cut a map. We're going to be following a similar process to before, but in this case, we're going to actually be cutting instead of engraving. And as you can see here, we have a lot of thin and detailed lines and a lot of small details. So I'm actually going to be going through and removing all the little pieces that I feel will just kind of be problematic the pieces along the edge, um, small, small, small little things that really aren't gonna be cutting out very well. And I do suggest masking when cutting out maps just because of the small detailed lines. See all the small little details? I'm 
and I want to get these small detail pieces out. I'm just going to tap on it gently and they usually just pop right out. Now I'm going to start removing the masking. As you can see here, this is how delicate they are. We want to make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on it. And then I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to go clean off the edges so it's not sticky. Now I've seen a lot of people use these maps as wall decor. They might layer it on top of white or on top of a color. They might actually stick it in a base so they can stand up. Whatever you want to do is up to you. And that concludes part two of our walkthrough video. I hope that you have learned something new and how you can now apply maps to your own projects.